There we go. We've got sound. Good. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Spontaneous Sunday. My name is Aaron Chows, and I am here in very hot and sunny Southern California this evening. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is the last Spontaneous Sunday of organ music for a while. Uh, the Piano Spontaneous Sunday will resume next week. The organ here is having a overhaul on all of the reservoirs that are back in there. I think there are seven of them in this organ. And it has been a long time coming because uh, I had a concert about a month ago. And the week prior to the concert, uh, one of the reservoirs in the swell division, which is back on the left side uh, here, um, exploded, <laughs> I guess you could say, burst um, mid-practicing. And so you heard this, all this air going into nothing. And uh, that was a lot of fun. So um, the organ maintenance guy came by and brought a huge roll of duct tape and uh, put that on there. And then the next day I practiced again and the duct tape with the hot air going into the bellows or into the reservoirs came off again and created noise and then came back again and did the work again and added some tacks on top of the duct tape. So it was duct tape plus tacks. Uh, the next day was Sunday morning. I uh, turned the organ on Sunday morning and it was buzzing all around. And uh, yeah, so that was fun. And uh, so the next day he came back and <laughs> before the concert put in tons and tons of tacks everywhere. So it's, so right now the organ's being held together by a big roll of duct tape and a bunch of tacks. And if it blows up in the middle of this program, well then did the best I could do. But uh, it is held pretty well for the past month uh, of being in that same state. So um, I just hope that it continues that way. Anyways, enough about that. We'll have piano next week. <laughs> um, hope you're all doing well this week. This has been a warm one and this room has no air conditioning. And so I have a fan down by my feet here, as you can see blowing on me. I hope it doesn't interfere with the mics, but I think it should be okay. Um, yeah, and I have on my my uh, melancholy socks. These are my watermelon socks. Although I don't feel melancholy, I guess apart from the organ being out this week, but um, these are my melancholy socks. That's what I call them. Um, anyway, good for summertime. Um, so tonight I thought I would do a, a theme of songs from movies, not entirely movie themes or film music as it is, but uh, songs that were famous from movies, or maybe songs that you know otherwise, but they came from a movie originally. Um, a lot of artists are, are hired to do songs for end credits of movies, and um, so that oftentimes they try to find a really catchy melody that everyone can, can latch onto, and sometimes they don't. Um, but that first one there was Enya, May It Be, from uh, The Fellowship of the Ring, the first Lord of the Rings movie, which was in 2001, which is hard to believe that was 22 years ago. Wow. Ugh, anyway, um, so yeah, <laughs> that was, those movies are, are special just because um, I'm not including the Hobbit ones in that one, but the Lord of the Rings films originally are very special because um, they, they were all made at the same time and the, the studios didn't have a whole lot of input on what, what Peter Jackson did and so he sort of was able to do whatever he wanted and had his dream fulfilled uh, and those films with the same actors in the same time of their life, all filmed together. Um, that was, yeah, a unique experience that I don't think will ever happen again. Anyway, great song from that was Enya's May It Be. Um, all right, so if you think of some, some movie songs that you really love, you can request them, but I've got a list of things to get through tonight, so I will move along with those for you. Next up, we're gonna go to the 1970s. We're gonna go back 50 years here, almost. Um, almost 50 years, I guess, 1977, which I always say is a great year because 1977 was when Star Wars came out. I'm not playing a Star Wars song. I said there's songs tonight, not soundtracks. So uh, unless you're playing Bill Murray's Star Wars song, um, that doesn't really count. I mean, there's not really a Star Wars movie song originally. So uh, I guess the Cantina Band is a song, but it's not really like a, it has lyrics to it, whatever. This is uh, from 1977. The movie was called... Saturday Night Fever. Here we go.
All right, there we go. That was Staying Alive from 1977, Saturday Night Fever. Uh, John Travolta, very famous in that. Uh, that was, I guess, around the time of the Welcome Back Cotter series, which I love. You know, the, uh, gosh, if I can do this on the organ. So, um, yeah, Vinnie, Vinnie Barbarino. <laughs> um, anyway, that's another song. That's not from a movie, it's from a TV series. Um, and uh, yeah, I have that complete series on DVD. That's one of those things that I am not ashamed to say. I love the Welcome Back Cotter series. <laughs> uh, Arnold Horshack and, oh my gosh, Mr. Kate. All right, well. <laughs> Uh, so next up, I'm going to do um, something from, I guess, 40 years before that. We're going to go back to the 1930s. This is going to be the oldest thing I play this evening. Um, this is a song made famous uh, by Fred Astaire. Um, and this was in the movie called Swing Time from 1936. This is a song called The Way You Look Tonight. It's a Jerome Kern song, so I hope you enjoy
that is the way you look tonight which i think we all know the sinatra version of that but um yes originally that was from 1936 and fred astaire sang that so uh, i tried to incorporate some of the sinatra stuff in there he's he tends to to stretch the melody lines a little bit there and so instead of playing you know straight quarter notes all the way through that um just sort of bend the rules a little bit but you can always um in music, you can always bend time, meaning you can be rubato, but you can't break time, meaning that, that time keeps moving no matter what. So if you get behind, you gotta catch back up. So um, if I miss some quarter notes, I have to play faster, maybe eighth notes or 16th notes to get back into it. And that's kind of how you play with, with time in music, but you can't break it, unfortunately. Anyway, all right, let's see who's here in the chat. Um, I was trying to monitor this as going along. Gosh, it's hot in here. Um, all right, Jerry, good to see you. Um, Brooks, hello, it's been a while, good to see you. Razbuzz, nice, hello. Julian Gerard, hello. Mirabilos, cool, hi. Uh, Matt Leach, good to see you. My mom is here, hey mom. Uh, anybody else? Let's see, back and back up here. Uh, Annie Schuyler, Schuyler. I'm saying that so wrong, I'm so sorry. Uh, Schuyler, Schuyler, mm. good to see you. Thank you for being here. Good to hear from you too. Um, and then my sister, hey, how good to see you, Rachel. Um, who else, Casey, yes, you got the Enya stuff. All right, cool. Well, thank you all for being here, I appreciate it. Anyone, anyone else that's watching, um, uh, Feel free to say hello in the comments. I'm always looking forward to seeing who's watching, and I know there are more numbers that I show watching the live stream than are actually in the comments. That's okay. But uh, I encourage you to say hello. Just let me know you're here. It's good to know who's watching. All right. Um, Brooks, a birthday song. Yes, so my birthday is this week. Uh, um, ooh. Annie, so it's Skylar. Okay, I will say Skylar from now on. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it's my birthday this week. It's not a huge one, so I don't really think it's a big thing to celebrate. And it would feel really weird to play it for myself, wouldn't it? I don't know. Um, although I have uh, a video from last year where I played the Beatles version of, or their Beatles birth birthday song. And uh, it's on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. It's a mixture of monks chanting it and a bunch of other things in harmonies and stuff. Uh, I'm playing all these instruments and it's, it's a big party in a video. So if you have time to watch my uh, Beatles birthday video from last year, you should check that out. Um, all right. <laughs> so uh, moving along here. Oh, this is a good one. So I've, I've played a lot um, of Moon River on the organ because that's a great, great tune uh, by Henry Mancini, but uh, I was going to avoid it tonight and try something else by Mancini. Uh, he was such a great tune writer, and uh, I think this is one of those films that I, I own because it's so good, but people don't talk about it enough. Um, movie's called Charade, and it's from 1963, um, and it had uh, Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn in it, um, worth seeing. So, um, but this song, Charade, came from the film. Um, it's the main theme, but also was a song as well. Um, Mancini had a lot of really good hits. Um, the Pink Panther was a big theme of his. Um, the Peter Gunn theme. And uh, what am I trying to think of? There's one more that, I, that I'm missing. Um, Days of Wine and Roses, I believe, is a Mancini song. Um, I might be wrong about that, but I think that's correct. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is Charade uh, from 1963, and I'm going to follow that with another one, which I think I'm probably wrong about. I should double check this, but another song from the 60s, but a different song altogether. Um, let me double check to make sure this is right. I don't want to have my facts wrong here. Um, let's see when this song came out before I tell it to you. Um, let's see. Yes, that's correct. All right. And it's from a movie, I believe. Yes, okay. All right, so I'm gonna do two, two songs from the 60s. 
uh, very, very different. The first one, like I said, is Charade. And the second one is by a group called Steppenwolf, and it's from a movie called Easy Rider in 1969. I believe the song came out around the same time. And that song, <laughs> very different from Charade, is Born to be Wild. So here we go.
All right, that's Born to be Wild by Stephen Wolf, 1969. The movie is Easy Rider. Before that, a completely contrasting piece, Charade by Henry Mancini <laughs> from 1963. Uh, that movie is called Charade. Uh, I think I saw a comment, where was it? Um, who had the comment? To offer you some refreshment. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt caught that. Um, yeah, you, you've clearly seen the movie, so it's good. All right. Um, anyway, let's see what else is next here. Oh, Nancy, good to see you. Uh, and Jerry, yeah, Jerry, Jerry's uh, <laughs> way too kind um, there. Um, so I saw earlier a comment. This was earlier on the live stream here. Oh, here, what, let's see what we have. I've got three cameras. I need to be careful now. I've got everything on there. You can see everything. Wow. All right. Um, I saw a comment about needing a virtual organ anyway, and that is my next topic for you all. Um, due to making friends with many of you uh, have come from this channel, but uh, Fraser Gartshore uh, over in Germany there has been uh, very kind in referring people to this channel, this lowly little uh, 1400 subscriber channel, not very many of us here, but uh, for, for watching these live streams. And I give him tons of credit for doing that. I, I've always enjoyed watching his live streams uh, all through COVID and everything. So um, it's very cool. He and I are, um, are in contact every day almost, uh, just texting and voice chatting and stuff. So uh, I really enjoy getting to know him and uh, learning about all that he does. And I'm telling you about all the things that I do. And um, I, I've been hoping at some point to build a Hauptwerk console. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, that is a digital, um, it's, a, it's an organ controlling system, meaning that there's, there's uh, manuals and keyboards and pedals that control a set of recorded sounds on a computer from organs around the world. Um, and so what that gives the organist the ability to do is to play organs, play the sound of organs uh, from their home, uh, play organs from cathedrals, organs from uh, concert halls, organs from churches, organs from um, movie theaters, the old theater organs. Um, and uh, so I've put off for a long time just from based on finances of getting one of those. And uh, I thought, well, what better time to at least begin this this journey of building one of these consoles. And so uh, I have set up, you can see there on the right side of your screen, a buy me a coffee, buy me a coffee page um, that you can scan with your phone and go to. And there is a wish list of all the components that I will need to build that home system, at least in a basic form. It's not cheap, but I think uh, just starting somewhere and having a good place to, to begin and, and plan out is sort of the beginning of all that. So. Um, if you are so inclined, uh, head over there to buy me a coffee and you can help uh, begin that process. And you have, there's each of the components are separate, um, separate funds. And so you can give to whatever, as many or as little as you want. Um, and uh, the good thing about buy me a coffee is it doesn't require a PayPal account. Um, so you can do it without that, which is great. Um, so anyway. If you would like to help me begin my, <laughs> my Halfrick journey of building this organ, I could do organ live streams more often and uh, much easier from the comfort of my own home. So um, that's my spiel to you all, my little marketing thing there. I'm not good at these things, but um, it would be really cool to be able to play like the organ in, I don't know, Salisbury Cathedral um, or a theater organ or a Wurlitzer of some kind um, for these live streams. I, I've been uh, limited in some ways with this organ here, this four manual organ. And uh, with its, all its problems that it's been having, <laughs> it gets harder and harder to, to rely on it for uh, live streams. I will never stop using it for live streams, uh, but it would be good to have a variety, right? I mean, to change it up a little bit every once in a while. So um, anyway, for those of you that want to help out, please do. Uh, that's where I've got it all set up and ready to, to begin this, this process. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, Okay, moving along here, what am I jumping to? I'm gonna jump to the 1980s, all right. Um, so I've got a 
gosh, a bunch of bunch of movie songs here from the 80s. Um, I saw last week the new um, Mission Impossible movie, Dead Reckoning Part 1. Um, and it's a lot of fun. If you uh, want to just enjoy sitting in the theater and watching a fun movie, it's worth going to see. Um, I have a friend that, that's uh, one of the assistant editors on that film, and he described the process of making that film and putting it together. It was quite a challenge, but uh, it was a very fun product. The movie itself is, is a very fun product to watch, um, what they finished and what they created out of that. Um, so I thought I wouldn't play the Mission Impossible theme all the way through, but I'd do a little hint of that and then go into uh, a little bit of, oh gosh, I said 80s, right? A little bit of a Tom Cruise movie, <laughs> Top Gun, the original one from 1986, and do uh, Take My Breath Away, which is by the group Berlin from that, and uh, maybe a couple other 80s movies to recognize them. Oh, I wanted to do the one from Arthur, that's right, as well. Christopher Cross, Arthur's theme. Let's do that too. So, all right, so I'll do Top Gun. I will do... I'll do uh, Arthur's theme, and maybe, uh, gosh, I have like a list of them here. I don't want to do all of them, but I want time to do all of them. But I'll do a handful. So maybe three of these. I'll pick a third one. Ooh, I like this one. This is a, uh, where is that one? Um, there it is. Okay, Arthur's theme. How about Against All Odds? That was not a huge hit, but a Phil Collins hit, but the movie itself is not a huge hit. That was 1984. Let's do that. Okay, so here's a trio of 80s movie songs for you. Enjoy.
Yes. yes. All right. So you got the foot loose there. Everyone got the cut foot loose. That's Kenny Loggins. And that is 1985. And then when we came out, uh, Kevin Bacon in Footloose. Uh, everybody cut. Everybody cut. Um, before that, I played the song Against All Odds. That's Phil Collins, 1984. Prior to that was a little bit of Arthur's theme from the movie Arthur, which was 1981, Christopher Cross song. Uh, I think that's one of those ones also that the, the song is more famous than the actual movie. Um, and the first one I played with a little bit of uh, Mission Impossible mix in there was the other Tom Cruise film uh, from the 80s, Top Gun, um, 1986, Take My Breath Away by Berlin. Whew, it's getting warm and warm and warm in here. Um, warmer and warmer. So I've got too much stuff to play next, but I need to wrap it up because it's been over an hour now. So I'll narrow this down and do some more later. Let's see here. I could jump to the last, oh, the last 10 years and do some movie songs from those. Uh, why not? It'd be a first for me, so I haven't tried these before. Um, I'll do one from 2013 and one, one from 2017. Um, it's harder and harder to find songs from the last, I don't know, 20 years um, that stuck out to me as far as big hits. Um, and these, these kind of were, at least one of them was, um, and still is played in the radio, um, at least on some of the stations I listen to, like on Sirius. Um, there's uh, Road Trip Radio is a really good one I listen to a lot. Um, Pop Rocks is one for sort of like 90s and 2000s. Uh, rock hits that were also pop hits. Um, there's the Y2, what is it? Y2K something station. Pop 2K is what it's called. That's right. Serious and Pop 2K. This is all my childhood stuff. So, um, but from the last 10 years, uh, I'm going to do two, two songs to close out this evening. Um, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So the first one will be um, a song called Happy by Pharrell Williams. It was on a lot. Um, and it has an organ in it. Actually, if you hear that, it's a, I think it's a Hammond organ. Um, not a very uh, harmonically interesting song, but I mean, it has sort of the same progressions over and over again. Following that, I'll do one that um, I really like this song actually a lot. This is a good song by Pink, and it's called A Million Dreams from 2017. That was from The Greatest Showman. Um, Hugh Jackman was that in that movie. So I will do uh, Happy by Pharrell Williams. That is uh, from Despicable Me 2, which I haven't seen, but that song was everywhere, and that's 2013. I follow that with A Million Dreams by Pink. If you haven't heard the song Million Dreams, it's a really good song for artists. It talks about creativity and things that you, um, things that you think up when you're, when you're sort of in a, another state of mind, like sleeping or daydreaming, um, the things that you can think up that are creative in those, those periods of time. Um, that song is very much about that kind of idea. Um, all the artists that have written songs in their sleep and woken up and, and heard a melody and, and uh, written it down or sung it into a tape recorder. Um, a Million Dreams is sort of about that kind of a thing. Um, anyway, so Happy by Pharrell Williams and A Million Dreams by Pink. Here we go.
All right, everyone, that's the end of the program for the evening. Um, I, it's kind of bitter, bittersweet. I'm thinking about the organ being out for about a month or so, and I won't get to play this for a while. So beginning tomorrow morning, I'll do all the work for it. So it was a good one to end it on, A Million Dreams. That was by Pink 2017. Um, prior to that was a little bit of Happy by Pharrell Williams. Ah, it's been an hour. It's been warm. Um, you probably can see the, I don't know, maybe not, the sweat on my head. <laughs> Very warm in here. Um, the fan does so much. Anyway, that's it, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll, I'll uh, say again that if you want to support this program and my project of um, raising funds for a, a home organ setup, you can do so with the Buy Me A Coffee link there. Um, there's also links in the description for that as well. Or you can just say thanks uh, via PayPal or Venmo, however you want to do that. I'm just glad you're all here this evening. This is a lot of fun. And I will be back next Sunday with some piano music for you. And I've revamped the whole look as I have for this, uh, the whole look of the Spontaneous Sunday piano live stream as well. So it's been some time making graphics and things. So anyway, I hope it will all work out and the organ will be back in no time. Um, it's got seven reservoirs to be repaired. The leather is from the 1970s. So it is 50 years old and needs to be re-leathered and um so looking forward to that being done oh anyway thank you all so much um glad you've been here for the last hour hope you've enjoyed these songs from the movies and i don't know what next week's theme will be but i will figure out this week so have a safe week have a uh air conditioned i hope or at least a cool week with fans somehow wherever you are in the world uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you next sunday goodbye <laughs> Thank you.